All right, so let's look at the fractal view of what's happening now and what's going to happen in the future and what already happened in the past. And there's nothing new. We can look at Revelation and tell you what's happening right now. We can actually read the mind of the devil and read the mind of Bill Gates and the minions. How to read the mind of these minions and demons is what I'm going to show you. It's really easy because we see in Revelation that Jesus comes back to destroy those that would destroy the earth. So if they want to destroy the earth, they want to abort God's program of birthing in sons of God, daughters of God. So God is birthing in sons of God, daughters of God. And so the program by the Illuminati, Jesuit, Freemason system is to destroy the earth. But they do a reverse psyop on you to make you think that they want to save the earth or they want to uh, help you or save you or rescue you just like the uh, just like the money they gave. We're going to we're going to help you. We're going to give you all this free money. But in a year the currency's devalued and you, and your food, we're going to get all that money back cuz we're raising the price of gas, price of food, price of everything. And so we're going to get that money back, but we're going to give you free money and make you think that uh, we care about you. We love the we love you, but we're devaluing your money. They could reverse it any time, but they don't want to reverse it. All they had to do is delete some money, to get rid of all the pennies, and it would reverse. Get rid of the nickels and the pennies, and you wouldn't have a problem. So the fractal view is what they're doing in Revelation, trying to destroy the earth, they're trying to do now. And if they're trying to destroy the earth, they're trying to destroy your body. They're poisoning your food. So there's four things in your body that cleanse. Your lungs, your liver, your kidney, and your sweat glands. So they're attacking your sweat glands. They're attacking your liver with sugar. They're attacking your kidney with poison in the water and lungs they track your lungs so when you breathe there's four things that cleanse your body the lungs the liver the kidney and sweat and so when you uh, breathe cleanses your body so they're attacking your body your body ship they're attacking your lungs in Revelation in the Greek it says there's going to be a great constriction the great tribulation the great constriction the Bible says Jesus if you're on the rooftop don't come down if you're in the city flee to the mountains flee to the hills that tells you there's gonna be like a gas six foot around the whole earth the great constriction look it up in the Greek the great tribulation the devil's a, a snake right great constriction the devil will how does how does a snake uh, kill its prey constricts it how does the devil kill you constriction if you let him that why do you think the legalist wants to put you in bonds why do you think the Jezebel wants to put uh, put a man in bondage and slavery they're trying to constrict you why because the snake always constricts and so they're trying to constrict your movement They're trying to constrict your fellowship. They're trying to constrict your communication. They're trying to constrict your language and your words and try to shut you down and censor you. Constriction. Why? Because the, the Pharaoh always wants to constrict. He wants to be in super control. We can look at Revelation, see what they're doing today. So they're attacking your lungs. They're attacking your liver with sugar. They're attacking your lungs with smoke. Why do you think they promoted smoke? Why do you think they promoted the electronic cigarette? Why do you think, no matter where you go, the, the people who are smoke, who smoke are weak. They're addicted. They have addictive personalities because they don't have their identity in Jesus. If you have an addiction, your identity is not in Jesus. Your identity is in that addiction. Just being honest. I don't care who it is. If you have an addiction to drinking, drugs, alcohol, internet, anything. Addiction to the attention. Anything. 
addiction to sex, addiction to anger, addiction to greed, addiction to uh, whatever. If you have an addiction, your identity is not in Jesus. Your identity is in the addiction. So what are they trying to do? Get you addicted to cigarettes. Get you addicted to drinking. Why? Alcohol turns to sugar and it destroys your kidneys. Smoking destroys drugs. It doesn't have to be cigarettes, but it can be marijuana. It can be blunts. I studied. I thought, how do they how do they mask the marijuana nowadays? Because it don't smell like marijuana. So I googled it. They put it under a blunt. You're breathing a blunt. The smoke of a blunt masks the marijuana. You're smoking and to your lungs. Why? Why did they Why did they brainwash you to smoke marijuana and smoke cigarettes? You've been brainwashed by the MK Ultra mind control. You're a slave, Neo, and you don't even know it. Because they want to attack your lungs. Why do they put sugar in all your food? Because they're attacking your kidney and your pancreas. Why are they attacking your water and putting all these chemicals in the water? Because they're attacking your kidneys. Why are they getting you to put some kind of get you to think you have to always put moisturizer on every every day or whatever instead of your food causing if you eat the right food your skin will be moist you don't need moisturizer it's the food that you just they always want you, you know i'm not saying certain things are bad for you but i'm just saying sometimes you have to put something on your skin but i'm saying they're they're oh they're putting aborted babies in the chem in the makeup come on Pepsi's putting aborted babies in the Pepsi so that you uh, don't taste the bitterness of the Pepsi. It makes it taste better. It, it, trick, it, it shuts down your taste buds in your mouth. It makes you think it tastes good when it tastes bad. Pepsi tastes terrible. It really does. So the same thing that they're doing now, they're attacking your lungs. They're attacking your heart. And so not only are they attacking you physically, they're attacking you mentally. Whoredom wine and new wine takes away the heart. But hey, you know how many TV shows and how many glorify people and, and look at all the TikToks and the uh, shorts where they're doing, uh, doing all their little dances and stuff. They're glorifying sex to get your mind. You know, Job said, I won't even look upon a maid. But they've made it to where everybody's looking upon a maid. Every time you open your phone, you're looking upon a maid. They're putting the they're not covering the female body anymore. They're revealing it all. And it don't even have to be really bad. It's just the the whole system is designed to get you to to, to destroy your heart. If you're married, you should be just focused on one person. Yeah, I know marriage is hard. I know marriage is, it turns into monotony, just like life and the job and everything else. I understand, I understand from people's struggles. We've all, all of us, myself, everybody, we're all a part of this game that the devil's playing on us. The devil's attacking our heart. The devil's attacking our mind. The devil's attacking our pocketbook. The, the, the wallet, the devil's attacking your wallet. The devil's attacking your kidney through the sugar, your liver. The devil's attacking everything about you. And if you if you were born in this Gentile system, this is actually a Phoenician Canaanite system. So the Phoenician system is actually the purple people, and they've spread it. The Roman Empire is all over the world. It's, it never went away. It just it just put a mask on and disguised itself. It's still here. But it's all rooted in the Phoenician Canaanites. And the Bible says no Phoenician Canaanite will enter into the temple. I'm not saying to beat yourself up. I'm not judging anybody. We're all guilty. But I'm, tr I'm trying to wake you up to the game. If you can wake up to the game that you've been deceived and you've been bra brainwashed and mind controlled... If you're smoking marijuana, you've been mind controlled. If you're smoking uh, cigarettes, you've been mind controlled. If you're drinking, if you're alcoholic, you've been mind controlled by the system. You're under mind control. If you're addicted to sugar, you're mind control. I was addicted to McDonald's. I was under mind control. I didn't know that they were attacking. So the same thing we see in Revelation is a fractal view of what they're doing now. The reason they're trying to go, they're, they're not really trying to go to Mars. They're lying to you. See, in the Bible, in Revelation, 
Jesus comes back to destroy those that would destroy the earth. They're trying to destroy the earth. And they're trying to create, through your hard work, some kind of spaceship, some kind of ship that they can leave the earth so when they destroy the earth, they can float around in space until the earth, until everything clears and they can come back. They destroy all mankind. See, they're trying to abort the simulation. Why do you think they're bringing machine men on? There was an ad came to my picture. I mean, came to my phone. It was a picture of this uh, robot in New York or somewhere. And she, it was a she. She was pushing a cart around. Her upper body was, her upper torso was just robot. But her legs, they tried to make her legs look like some sexy woman's legs, you know. So they're trying to turn the machines. Look what they're doing to the cars. They're, they're trying to make the cars sexy. They're trying to make the machines sexy. They're trying to mimic the female. To get you to fall in love with a machine. The 666 machine. The machine. The machines are birthing. Mother Earth. See, they want to destroy the Earth because they're just like they abort babies they're trying to abort the earth because god is birthing in sons of god they're trying to abort the sons and daughters of god and they're trying to abort god's children they don't want people to get saved so they're trying to destroy the earth just like they're trying to destroy babies save the trees and kill a baby save the whales and kill a baby these people are sick they're sick and Bill Gates is one of them. And, and when Bill Gates dies and Bill Gates goes off the scene, there's going to be another one that rises up because it's a fractal view. They're in your church. They're in your house. They're on your job. They're everywhere. And they're master deceivers and they're shapeshifters and they will trick you. They will say, oh, I'm saved. I believe in Jesus. I pray. But they hate you the whole time. They're trying to poison you. Just like the devil's trying to poison you, they're trying to kill you. The devil still kills and destroys. So your neighbors who are demons, you might even have a demon in your own house. They're trying to steal, kill, and destroy you all the time. And they're trying to take away your house. They're trying to take away your, your finances. They're trying to put you in debt. Everything they're doing is to steal, kill, and destroy. To destroy your finances, to destroy your health, destroy your mind, destroy your relationship, destroy everything about you. And these people are masters. You can't fight them in the natural because they're masters in the natural. You can only fight these kind of wars in the spiritual. You can only fight these kind of wars in the spiritual. I was up at the end of the street. Somebody was, I had cleaned out a shed, put some trash at the road. And the neighbor who had a fallen out with me for no reason about 30 years ago, 20 years ago, he was looking to see what was in the bags. Nosy. Trying to catch, find something, catch something. It's a fractal hologram. So what's happening today, you can actually see it in the movies. The reason you can see it in the movies is because it already happened. The lamb slain before the foundation of the world. 2,000 years ago, Jesus went to the cross. Everything that happened at the cross is happening now. You're in the now. Every story, the love story, Jesus went to the cross, can't split space time, just like the time travel movies. The man comes back in time to save the woman, which represents the church, the weaker vessel, the weaker side of the equation. Heaven and when God made heaven and earth, heaven is the power, earth is the weak. So the clay vessels are the weak. The female, the woman, the wife, in the spirit, there's neither male nor female, but in the natural, the woman's the weaker vessel. Why? It's a type of Christ in his church. So your husband will sacrifice for the woman. But when the Jezebel tries to usurp the man, it's usurping, just like the devil tried to usurp in Genesis 3. It's a fractal story. And it's happening everywhere all the time. This is why you can see what's going to happen tomorrow. You can read their mind. You can see Wally Coyote always trying to, to use some kind of acme tool, some kind of invention, some kind of manipulation to destroy the uh, roadrunner. 
And so the Bible says God made man upright, but he sought many inventions. Why? He's trying to usurp God in the energy of the flesh, which is impossible. So they're trying to usurp you and take away your identity, your power by the energy of the flesh, but you're in the spirit and they can't mess with you. And this is what frustrates them. This is why they hate you. And you don't run with them to the same excess of riot because they're nothing but riot. They don't have any peace inside. They're just riot. The reason they do riots is because they have a riot heart. They have a rebellious heart and a rebellious mind. And you can see them a thousand miles away. You can see them in time. You can see them 2,000 years ago, and you can see them 2,000 years in the future. You know what they are because it's already been. What shall be has been, and what has been shall be. And if you can hear what I'm saying, and you do a fractal zoom, you can see what's going to happen tomorrow before it even happens. You can see what happens before it even happens. When it becomes a part of you, when this truth permeates your heart, your mind, your soul, then you're able to see what's going to happen tomorrow. You can see the precogs, the postcogs. You can actually know almost what somebody's going to say before they say it. And many times you already know what they're going to do, what they're going to say, all their manipulation, all their games. You already know the future. You've already had the conversation a thousand times, and there's nothing new under the sun. If you can get a hold of this, your whole world will change. And you can start sowing seeds that are good seeds and break the mind control. But as long as you're under the mind control of the system and you think, oh, that this is something new, the financial crisis, the food prices. See, they're trying to make you think, oh, no, there's a food shortage of food prices. This is nothing new. It's going to backfire. Does everything Wally Cody does backfire? Yes. Will the food prices backfire? Yes. Everything they do backfires. When the devil tries to destroy the earth in the tribulation, Jesus comes back to destroy the devil. Is, is it still going to happen today? Yeah. Everything the devil's doing is going to backfire. But if you try to beat them in the energy of flesh, you won't win. But if you're saved, you'll, the righteous fall seven times but get back up. You're going to win, but if you try to do the battle, the, you're going to win the war, but each battle you're going to lose if you try to do it in the energy of the flesh. It's really easy. If you, if you can get a hold of this, you become, a, oh, you become a conqueror. You overcome by the blood of Jesus. You overcome by the truth. The truth will set you free. You overcome with love, agape love. You overcome with boundaries. You overcome with truth. You overcome with not repaying evil for evil. You overcome by staying occupied. Occupy till I come. Occupy. Occupation. Find something that you're good at. They need you. Get good at an occupation and they'll need you. You won't need them. They need you. That's a fact, yeah.